the tech that powers your phone's blazing fast internet, the heartbeat of your 5G connection gets flipped upside down overnight. For years, one name has dominated the modem game, Qualcomm. Their chips have been the invisible engine behind nearly every major smartphone on the planet. But that dominance? It's under serious threat. What if I told you that Huawei, yes, Huawei just pulled off a comeback that no one saw coming. Their Belong modem just stepped into the ring with Qualcomm's best, and it's not just holding its own, it might be winning. This isn't just a specs battle. This is about the future of how we connect our phones, our laptops, our smart homes, our cities, and Huawei's Balong is coming in hot. Buckle up. We're diving deep into a tech revolution that could change everything, and it's waving goodbye to Qualcomm while shouting hello to Huawei. Welcome back, where we break down the tech shaping tomorrow. If you're new here, smash that subscribe button, hit like if you're fired up to watch Qualcomm sweat, and share this with your fellow tech lovers, because what we're about to unpack? It's next level. Let's rewind. Every time you scroll through Instagram, FaceTime, a friend, or stream your favorite show in 4K, it's all thanks to one critical piece of tech, the modem. It's small, it's silent, and it's sitting right inside your phone. And for years, Qualcomm has been the gold standard from Samsung's Galaxy series to Apple's iPhones. Their Snapdragon modems, particularly the X series, have powered billions of devices. But enter Huawei. They've been quietly developing their own modem tech for over a decade. And now, they're making serious noise. Let's talk Belong. Huawei's been in the modem game since the 4G era. Back then, they used their Belong line internally, mostly in their own devices. It flew under the radar. But then 5G came along, and the stakes got higher. Much higher. In 2019, Huawei introduced the Belong 5000. It was one of the first modems to support both standalone, SA, and non-standalone, NSA, 5G networks. In simple terms, that meant wider compatibility and future-proofed performance. Speeds? A jaw-dropping 6.5 Gbps in test environments. That wasn't just fast. That was woe fast. And this was all while Huawei was under intense global pressure. U.S. sanctions hit them like a freight train. No more Qualcomm chips. No more ARM licenses. No more Google services. Most companies would have folded. Huawei didn't. They pivoted. They went all in on self-reliance. They funneled billions into R&D, partnered with SMIC, a Chinese semiconductor foundry, and started building out a fully independent chip pipeline from silicon to software. The result? Fast forward to today, and we've got the Belong X60. This chip is a beast. Built on a 5 nanometers process, it supports sub-6 gigahertz and millim wave the two major types of 5G. It delivers up to 7.5 Gbps download speeds and 3.5 Gbps upload. But it's not just about speed, it's about smarts. The X60 features AI-driven network optimization. That means it can automatically detect and switch between the best available network bands in real time. Even in a dense urban jungle where signals are bouncing everywhere. Even more impressive? Early testing shows that Balung X60 uses up to 30% less power than Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 4, which is a big deal when you're trying to squeeze more life out of your battery. But here's where things get really interesting. Huawei's not just building a modem, they're building a complete ecosystem. Their chips? In-house. Their OS? Harmony OS. Their devices? From phones to laptops to cars. Their goal? Total control. Imagine a Huawei phone with a Belong modem and a Kirin processor, all running Harmony OS. No need for Qualcomm. No need for Android. No outside dependencies. Everything just works. Seamlessly. Efficiently. That's the dream, and Huawei's making it real. Let's zoom out. Qualcomm's strength has always been its partnerships. They've worked with Samsung, Google, OnePlus, Apple providing top-tier modems and processors. Their Snapdragon X series has long set the benchmark. But that strength is also a weakness. Qualcomm is dependent on global supply chains. Their chips are manufactured by TSMC in Taiwan. Their business relies on Western tech giants. Huawei, meanwhile, is going solo. They're using Chinese fabs. They're building their own operating system. They're designing chips for their own hardware. And they're backed by China's enormous domestic market and strong state support. We're talking about 1.4 billion consumers, national telecom deals, and infrastructure partnerships across Asia, Africa, and the Middle East. If Huawei can get Belong modems into budget 5G phones at scale, that could be a game changer. 
Imagine a $250 phone offering the same 5G performance as a $700 flagship powered by Qualcomm. That's how markets shift. Qualcomm isn't going to disappear overnight. They still have strong positions, especially in the premium space. Apple will still use their modems at least through 2027. And their new Snapdragon X75 is impressive. But Huawei isn't playing the same game. They're not just building a chip. They're building a new tech universe. And if they pull it off, we're looking at a possible tech cold war East versus West. Snapdragon versus Belong. Android versus Harmony OS. Now, let's peek into the future. According to leaks, Huawei is already working on the Belong X70, targeting a 2026 release. Built on an even smaller 3 nanometers node, with theoretical speeds pushing 10 GBPs and even satellite connectivity. That means you could have high-speed signal in the middle of the desert or out at sea. No Starlink dish required, it's just built into your phone. They're also deep in 6G research. Trials could begin by 2026, 2027. And Huawei is reportedly leading in 6G patents over 20% of global filings. And this vision doesn't stop at phones. Huawei wants belong in cars, TVs, wearables, industrial equipment, smart cities. Harmony OS is scaling up, and Belong is the bridge that connects everything. If they can build the app ecosystem to match attract global developers, build a thriving store they could do what Apple did with its M1 and M2 chips, create a closed loop, high performance, power efficient ecosystem that's incredibly hard to compete with. So, where does that leave Qualcomm? They're still in the fight. They've got legacy partnerships, global reach, and some of the best engineers in the world. Their Snapdragon X75 is a true contender, and they're also researching 6G. But the pressure is real. Huawei's rise is no longer just a local story. It's a global play. And if Belong-powered devices go international, at budget-friendly prices, with real performance, Qualcomm might lose more than market share, they might lose the mid-range completely. This isn't just about chips anymore. It's about who controls the future of connectivity. So, what do you think? Can Huawei really say goodbye Qualcomm? Or is this just the beginning of a new global tech rivalry? Drop your thoughts in the comments, I'm reading them all. And before you go, what do you want to see next? A sneak peek into 6G? A full breakdown of Harmony OS and how it stacks up to Android? Or maybe a deep dive into Belong vs. Snapdragon head-to-head? -head? Let me know. If you enjoyed this, check out our other videos like Huawei's bold move to ditch Qualcomm forever. It's packed with insights to keep you ahead of the curve. Thanks for watching. Hit like, subscribe, and share this with someone who still thinks Qualcomm's untouchable. Catch you in the next tech revolution.